All right, boys, welcome back. Starting to get some parts in for the cab over, so first things first. <clears throat> Excuse me, we got to rebuild fuel pump here and our water pump. So we're going to go through each of them in this video. Shouldn't take too long. These ain't terribly hard to do. Um, and then we'll probably get the water pump and fuel pump on in this video. And button up the fuel lines, God willing. Uh, so you can see our fuel pump is off the truck and it's mounted in the Kent Moore Special Tool. If you don't have this, just put this thing in a vise. Just don't be a dummy and you'll be fine. Um, so first we're gonna pull the uh, fittings out and then we're gonna pull the cover off. Um, I'm gonna do all this on like fast forward because you don't need to watch me pull bolts out. See there's schmoo in there. Delicious. Smells good. There's definitely a lot of crap in it. Oh, that's okay. When it comes the kit comes with all new. shafts and seals and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna take the uh, pump body over and clean it up in the um, parts washer. Go from there. Pull the bypass out yet. Yeah. Which I should be able to do with this. I'll tell you what, this tool for being super fancy really ain't all that helpful. When you're pulling that pump body apart. Should have just used a friggin' vice to begin with, eh? Hopefully, it'll be helpful for this. Huh! Oh, yeah. All sorts of schmoo in there. So this definitely, that's a little rusty too. I wonder if that would ha would have hung up or was hung up. It came out of there all right, but that doesn't mean it wasn't, it was moving freely where it's supposed to be. Let me clean up the body and stuff and then I'll bring you back. All right, so the other thing I wanted to mention is we gotta get the seals out of this. Um, they're down in there, there's two of them. Uh, so in this kit here that we have on the bench there's a fancy tool for that this thing here that's what they tell you to use pop the seals out so go that works really well actually I'm not mad at that and you can see it did a good job I mean it didn't really score it didn't score any of the ceiling surface where the seals ride 
So that's pretty friggin' mint, boys. Uh, now I'll clean this up, bring it back. All right, boys, well, we are all cleaned up. And back in, so now, to lubricate our seals it's just to use vegetable shortening which if you're a Detroit guy you will have in your shop because I do so this one's gonna go oh, this way and then this Starts it and centers it in there so that it's correct. Goes in square. Pretty cool. And this one we can just bottom against the. This one goes all the way in. All right, boys, good catch. I had it on there backwards, but I don't want to drive this in with a hammer. So I think what we're gonna do is just use our. Uh, Since I have this thing, we might as well use it. And that gives us perfect alignment. See, that seal is perfectly in line with the drain holes like it's supposed to be. That one bottoms out like that. And then our next one goes in the other way around. All right, fellas. I am indeed correct. It does indeed use this one. And you can see we've got our seal and then our adapter, which will set set the depth correctly for us so let's see if we can get her in here you know i'm kind of a scatterbrain i don't know if you noticed that boy it's nice having the right tools bingo sets right in there and we can see we have perfect spacing in the hole Perfect, boys. That's what we like. Alright, so next we gotta put the relief valve, bypass valve, whatever you want to call it. Give this little spritz here, engine oil, what I'm using. Then your pan. Then we'll just take our cover, put a new gasket on it. And she goes. Just 
Too much oil in there. Huh. I'm gonna go get some. I'm gonna get some Loctite. We're just gonna lightly dab it on around the outside of this thing. That'll seal her up, and um, that'll be good. All right. Well, we got our Loctite. 515 on there, ready to go, just super light coat. This you don't have to worry too much about, it only goes on one way, there's only one end that's cut deep for the for the drive gear. Still turns minty. So now we just need our bolts. All right. And it turns. One down. It's perfect. We didn't hardly get any gasket maker out of the sides. Which is what I was hoping for. Because you don't really want to put much on. These are metal to metal. They're designed to seal metal to metal. They're not. Um, I'm, I'm honestly surprised the manual tells you to put it on there. So what I'm going to do is set this back in the holder there on the machine. Or on the vise. And just torque it to spec. And then I'll put the fittings back in. And bring it back. All right, well, you can see we got our water pump on the bench. I've already taken the liberty of breaking this free with a puller. So I needed to see, on these V12s, they have two different, there's two options for impeller. One has a short vein on it, and this is the what they call the longer vein. So I needed to know which one I had uh, before I could order replacement parts. So, now what we've got back here is there's a snap ring in here that's gotta come out, maybe. Try it with these small ones here. Yeah. Perfect. And then, I do believe that whole thing should just tap out of there. using the shaft or nothing I got all new shit so there you go you got your bearings and then the casting is pretty simple I mean it's just machined a little bit there's your seal down in there we got to press that out mm. you can see the seal here face of it so the seal have to come out You get a new seal in there. So what we're gonna have to do is put this in a press and press the gear off of the shaft and then get the bearings out. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll come back and we'll reassemble. All right boys, well we're back with our uh, water pump build here. Um, I went ahead and pressed the new bearings on the new shaft. He's going super easy, you could do it just with an arbor press, no big deal. Done and done. So the next step is gonna be to 
What is the next step? We have to put... The way I do these is a little different than what the factory says. So the factory says to put this in here and then press your gear on, blah, blah, blah. But you need a special tool to do it that way. And it doesn't take a whole lot of force to get this in here. These aren't super tight. Um, and you're not going to hurt the bearings doing it this way. So the best thing you could do is come over to the press and... Where did I put it? What we're going to do is lay our gear and don't forget your spring clip because if you do it this way, you have to put that in there now. Set that in there, set this on here, and what I use, stay. What I use is a 21 millimeter uh, socket. And what this does is it, essentially you press against the inner race of that bearing instead of the shaft. It protects the threads of the shaft, essentially, is what you're doing here. Um, so I'm gonna go press this in, this just like this. Press it till it deadheads, and then, then I'll come back and we'll tap this assembly into the pump body and insert the snap ring. All right, well, the press was a great success. She's one piece. I have the oil seal installed in the pump already. The spring side of that oil seal faces the bearings. Very important. So now, now what we gotta do is get this in here. This is perfect, boys. So all I can do is, you got your pump body set up in here, just like this. All we're gonna do is just very lightly. I mean, you, that's not even hardly any force. Like, it slides right down in here. It, it ain't. Now what we gotta do. is get our shaft spring clip put in. So, all right, well, we got our shaft installed, snap rings in. And now what we have to do is press Press our seal down in there. Now the seal, if it's a newer pump, the seal is a unitized seal. And it looks like this, it's all one piece. And if you have a unitized seal, which I'm sure you do because it's new parts, you have to use the install tool because it presses on both surfaces. See this springs down. Presses on both surfaces at the same time. You see the, the ring slides separately there. The inner ring, I don't know. So it's gonna press this inner part onto the shaft at the same time it's pressing the outer part into the body. And if you don't have this tool, you're gonna ruin this seal. Now. What we're gonna do
There you go. All right, boys, so now get your peanut butter on your threads. If you don't know what peanut butter is, go back and look it up because we've been over it before. It's a brand new impeller. Set her on down in there. And you're not in your washer. And we're gonna run that down and torque it to spec. What is the spec, you ask? The spec is 40 foot pounds. So do that. Okay, boys. Well, you saw us torque the well, I don't know if you saw it, but whatever. I torqued the friggin' nut, 44 pounds, like I said. The next step is you have to, you gotta check to make sure that the impeller doesn't spin separate from the gear. So how you do that is they have a special tool and they want you to put it into a, a vise with uh, brass jaws. I have neither of those, but I do have a pretty decent sized vise and it does work. So what we do is we put chunks of wood, you can see where the gear teeth were, um, on either side of that vise, clamp the gear in there. And now what we're gonna do, that's how I torque it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a tool. So the tool that they want you to use has two little nubs and they fit down in these. Well, I don't really, I'm not, I don't, a, I don't have it and B, I feel like that would kind of mess up them threads so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a tool that we're gonna weld this nut to this plate here and then we're gonna drill two holes in it so that these bolts can go through and thread into that thing and then we can apply the 80 foot pounds necessary to test this shaft so let's just give that a rip kids here's what we got. got our janky tool that we made here these bolts are just threaded in by hand so they're snug they're not tight or nothing like that figure out what size socket that was before i got all crazy look at that it's 24. so we'll set our deal here to 84 pounds all right we got some line scribe. You scribe one on the top here from the impeller to the shaft. And then on the same, you do the gear to the shaft. Perfect. Nothing. So that's good. We did our jobs, boys. Oh. Uh, Let's go put a water bomb on. That looks warm.
Gump, you're a genius. That's how that's done, boys. I'm gonna chase all these with a tap. Be back. All right, boys. Well, I know I said we were gonna install a water pump, but after where I got done getting the bolt out of this, I figured we gotta clean it up. So I brought in a parts washer. Parts washed it all out. We scrubbed it all with the wire brushes. She's freaking minty. So now this can go back on. Lucky me, it's raining. Shocking. So, kind of puts that on hold for a little bit. Camera's almost dead. So, uh, yeah, we'll come back. Uh, let me install the water pump. God knows when.